everyone welcome to my nookery and welcome to part two of the beach cover-up tutorial i decided to put it into two um two videos uh, in this video now that you've got your two pieces your back and your front um, i'm going to show you how to um what to do round each piece of your cover up which is going to be the back and the front how to join well how i'm going to join it and then um, i'm going to put a trim round the sleeve well the sleeves and the bottom of the wrap so i hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial and um, don't forget thumbs up share and like with your friends and i'm going to turn you to overhead and we're going to make a start on getting it all put together so as you can see i've finished the back and the front of the um the beach cover up so what i've done when you come to the last row you're going to do a single crochet all the way across all the way across until you get to the corner and you're going to do a single crochet all the way around all the way around and then you, when you um when you get to the back to where you started you're going to turn and you're going to do a double crochet all the way around so as you can see we've got double crochet all the way around and what I've done is I've measured how I'm not going to close the ends up they I'll show you how to do them but I've measured where I want to join so they're just going to be stitched between these two stitch markers but I'll explain all that so the next thing you've got to do which I've already done let me move this one out of the way now that can go up there out of the way so what I've done if you can see let me get that. so what I have done is I've done the last row I've done a single crochet all the way across so into So as you can see, if I put it down, you can see I've done all single crochet and I will need to go all the way around now. So I need to go down the sides, down the bottom and up the other side in single crochet. So I'd show you, just want to quickly show you what, what I'm doing. So when you've finished the side, don't cut the yarn off because you're going to need it because you're going to use the same yarn to do the uh, single crochet and double crochet all the way around the um, front and back. So now I'm going to, let me just double check. Yeah. So now I'm going to, done the last row. Uh, the last stitch but I'm going to do another two single crochets into that corner stitch so that's one two and then into these are two um two chain chain twos so you're going to into every So into every chain two space you're going to do two single crochets and these are double crochets so you're going to do two um, single crochets into each of these. So let me just show you what I mean. So this is a two chain space so I need to do two singles into here and then I need this is a double crochet so I need to do two singles into this and then this is two chains so I need to do two double crochet into there uh, two 
single crochet into there this is a double crochet so I need to do two single crochets into this part and then two chains so I need to do two into there two into this one uh, the the double crochet post another two single crochets and that's what you do all the way around until you get to the other side and I'll meet you when you get to here okay so as you can see I've done my single crochet all the way down the first the first side and I've come to the end and um, I want to go move across now and do a, a single crochet along the bottom but first what I need to do is I need to do three single crochets into the corner and then start um, single crochet along the bottom and then you continue doing your single crochet along the bottom of your say, for example say this is the front of your um, beach cover up so you go continue going all the way across to, to the other end and in the co next corner you're going to do three single crochets into the corner stitch and then you're going to continue doing single crochet all the all the way up to, to here and when you get to here I will show you um, what to do what to do next so as I say just continue single crochet all along the bottom to the corner here three single crochets then single crochet all the way up to the top of the other side and I will meet you at this end okay so I've done all single crochet and I've come to the last edge and I've come to the top and I've done two single crochet into that last stitch there so it curves it round so you're going to turn your work around and you're going to chain one and then you're going to into that very first stitch you're going to do a double crochet and you're going to do a double crochet all the way around right the way around until you get back to the other side now in the previous round at the corners we did three double crochet this time you're not you're just going to follow it round you don't need to just follow the into every single crochet stitch from the row below what you're going to do is you're just going to do a double crochet all the way around until you get to this end and I'll meet you back here and I'll show you what to do next so just single crochet all the way around very easy and I'll see you on the other side guys okay so we fini I've finished the two pieces of the um, of the beach cover up and on one of them as you can see I've already marked so there are, I'm making sure that they're on the wrong side although it doesn't really matter right okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up line it up so let's see yep yeah, that's it so I'm going to line it up with the um, with the um, 
with the stitch markers well, that wasn't right and I'm going to get some thread and I'm going to make a start on sewing up and I'm going to to just take that out a minute open it and I know that it's going to, I'm just lining up the and I know that I want to sew from there to there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew them so I'm going to line them up first I'm going to line that one up with that one and then I'm going to line this one up with this one And then I'm going to go across, move across, and we're going to line these two up. There we go. So that goes in there. I'm just going to open my stitch marker and I'm going to put that in there and line it up with the corresponding stitch on the other on the other side and between these two stitch markers these two stitch markers on both sides because that's going to be my neck opening so I've done this one I'm going to go away and I'm going to sew them together okay and what I like to do guys and what I would recommend you do so you don't get confused put a stitch marker on the right side let me see if I can on both both pieces so this is the because I'm going to sew on this side so I'm going to fold and put it just pop a stitch marker so I know that this is the right side and then I'm going to do the same for the other piece so this is going to be the inside the right side for this one as well and I'm just going to pop a stitch marker so I know which is the right side and which is the wrong side okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stitch between those two stitch markers which is about two inches and I'll meet you back here where for the next pro, uh, the next step after you have sewn the top together so I've got that little bit and I've joined the two ends together here and here just with a pin because I've not sewn them together because these are going to be joined together when I do the um, fan or the shell whatever you want to call it and I've marked 11 inches from here to here because I want a, it quite gapy at the sleeves because remember guys it's a beach cover so now I am going to from the end all the way up and it's on the right side they're both on the right side because I've got my and I'm going to crochet I'm going to crochet them together guys so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom and I need my crochet hook and some yarn and I'll just show you what I'm going to do um, and leave a bit of a tail so I can um, And then what I'm going to do is, can you see the V's on each of them? So we've got the round. I'm keeping the round and I'm going to start about here. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to pull 
and stitch through. Let me put some light on this situation. There we go. So as you can see, I've put them to the two V's and I'm going to... Come on, Linda. I'm going to pull this through. And chain one and all I'm going to do guys is just go between under each one very loosely not tight I'm not going to tighten tight tight and I'm just going to crochet right the way up up the side so as you can see between each V So I'm going under the stitch like you would if you were going to do a double crochet or a single crochet. That's all I'm doing. So you've got that. So you've got a nice little ridge on the side. Can you see? That gives it, you know. So I'm going to continue on until I get to my stitch marker and when I get to my stitch marker I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay guys so I've I've done joined them all the way up until the the um, stitch marker which is here and I'm going to take that stitch marker out and now we're going to do the fan on the sleeve edging without breaking any yarn and that so what we're going to do is I'm going to make sure that they're both separated the arms and what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and we're going to then go into the um, third, um, into the next chain so you've chained one you're going to do a single crochet yarn round needle and you're going to skip two and into the third stitch you're going to do five five double crochets into the next stitch Then you're going to skip two and into the third you're going to do a single crochet you're going to skip two and into the third stitch you're going to do five double crochet so that's one two three skip two into the third one you're going to do a single crochet skip two and into the third one you're going to do five double crochets two three four five skip two into the third one do a single skip two into the neck into the third one you're going to do five double crochet five so can you see the nice little edging just a nice just to finish it off guys and you're going to do exactly the same around the end the um, chain uh, the the shell stitch you're going to do it all the way around or you could leave it like that it's entirely up to you you can leave that plain and just do the um, the shell around the sleeves Oh, you don't even have to put the shell around the sleeves if you don't want to um, because with you doing the the double crochet the single crochet and the double crochet 
um, you will um, it, it, it still looks nice I mean if you look at the bottom of this it's got that nice curve it's got that nice curve so even if you don't want it I mean it looks really nice and neat um, you don't really have to all you do is just join it I mean the decisions up to you um, I'll decide I definitely want the shells around the sleeves I'm not sure about the edge yet. I'll try it on and see what I think and if I feel um, after I've joined the other side together. So what you do on this side, you would do exactly on the other side. Either do the shells or leave the shells off. And uh, when I, I'm going to continue with this side because I want to show you what to do to join it here. So as I said, we're doing five double crochets into this stitch so that's three four and five and then we skip two into the third we do a single skip two into the third we do five double crochets three four Five. Then we're going to do skip two in the third one, do a single into the third one. We're going to do five doubles one, two, three, four, five. Skip two into the third, a single skip two we're going to do one two three four five skip two into the third a single crochet skip two and do five double crochets one, two, three, four, five, skip two, single crochet, skip two, and into the third one, we're going to do uh, five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Now you see these two are here. Oops. So we've reached the top of the sleeve where it's the neckline, where the, you know the top of the. We've come to the end of this row and these two aren't joined together, are they guys? So there's one stitch on this side and we're going to take one stitch from this side and we're going to join them. So I'm going to put my hook into through the first lot of stitches on this piece and on this piece I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to put my yarn round my hook, pull it through and pull it through the stitch and that is joined them and then what you're going to do is you're going to skip one and into this next stitch you're going to do a single crochet and then one two and into the next one you're going to do five double crochet and you're just going to continue that round but that is the way I've joined it because let me just move that out I wanted the peephole on the shoulder and that is what you're going to do so you're going to finish off this sleeve doing your your, your, your shell until you get to here and then that is that side and then when you come to this side you do exactly the same do your shells round 
um, join them together at the and finish it off and then if you wish you can put shells on the bottom I've not decided yet I'm going to finish the both sides with the shells and then I'll decide whether or not I will put shells on the bottom or not and that guys is more or less it completed um, um, I don't think I can show you anything else I'm sure you all know how to do shells or fans or if you've got um, an edging that you really like to do then you do that at the end of the video guys what I'm going to do is I might even put my bathing suit on and put the um, beach wrap or cover up on so you can see it and I'll also have pictures of it finished so um all that's left for me to say guys is I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial, I've enjoyed making this, I'm just glad to see it finished now. So thank you all so very much for watching, take care, stay safe but more importantly guys as I always say be kind to you and until the next video bye bye for now.